everyone so this is one of my first videos and I know I'll be weird with the camera and um, I might not know how to do it very well because it's just first trial ever but since I, I have eczema you know atopic dermatitis and for the first time I think I have most of the products that I usually use here at my house usually you know you try some and you throw some when um, you finish them so this time somehow I managed to have a variety of them at the same time some are used some are, I'm still using but I thought I just might share with you you know since I I have I have had and still have atopic dermatitis since I'm one year old now I'm 29 years old so it's been a long 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 drive and right sorry for my English mistakes, bear with me, it's not my native language, I'm Portuguese. And I thought I'd just share with you, you know, some of the products that I use and I hope uh, that they can help you. These are some of my favorite products and that help me to keep eczema kind of like stable, stabilized, yeah. And sometimes I still have rashes, you know, I can show you one of my fingers. You know how it works and it's in my face and I have uh, worse times and better times you know how it works if you have this disease so first and not to get like super lengthy with this intro um, I'm gonna show you the body moisturizers or creams that I usually use my favorite of all is a derma you know this is the one that I love, 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 love. Every time I'm getting like worse, this is my go-to. I love this brand for uh, eczema and they have really, 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 really good products, you know. I even have two here. I don't really know like the specifics of the difference, but one is Emollient Balm. I'm not sure I can show you. And the other one that I've shown you is Emollient Cream. You know, Aderma is really, really, really nice for me. It works really well and is one of my favorite of all time brands. Since I'm speaking of Aderma, I have also have like the body gel, if you say, that I usually use, you know, in the shower. I usually have this one or a smaller version as well. And it's like a good texture and it's really like it helps you not scratch so much and not to feel like um, that you leave the shower very dry skin you know it helps to keep the skin with more like um, feeling more moisturized another body cream that I love body moisturizer I don't know which name you use for that that is my second favorite is Lippy Carbon this Lippy Carbom, and now it has the name APM+. They're always changing names, you know. Usually Aderma was also called Bom. I think they now changed for control, you know, as it says here. But usually the best ones for XM are the ones that say Bom. I don't know the specifics. But this Roche, La Roche-Posay Lippy Carbom, really, really, really nice, you know. It really works wonders for the skin. It's like my second favorite. What I try to do is like, and I think it's what it said that should be done. It's like you shouldn't use the same cream or moisturizer like the whole year. Like you should use it a few months and then try to switch it up, you know, so that your skin starts to not get used to it. And then it starts losing the effect of the cream on your body. So you like switch it up sometimes. Now another one, but I think this is a Portuguese brand I'm not sure I think so it's kind of like OT uh, body cream but it's really really nice kind of expensive though but aren't they all we know the drill it's this one the Veia and the lotion for the or the gel for the shower I don't have it here it's amazing even better than a derma for me it really works wonders and leaves my skin like super calm after the shower because sometimes after the shower I get like really reddish skin 
so I try to be careful with the shower gels that I use. But this one, also amazing. Third favorite. Now, there is also other interesting ones that I have here. They're not my favorite, to be honest, but it's like whenever I need something cheaper or just to have it at my like parents' home or something, I have other brands like Biaderma, also Intensive Balm, you know, very dry skin, irritated to atopic sensitive skin. Here says like special price in Portuguese. <laughs> It's also a really cool one and you can use it sometimes like you know to switch it up to change a little bit and to just try other things also Eastin has good ones this is with Uraya but they have one which is I think is called Nutra Topic that it's also really good you know I even have the Nutra Topic Pro AMP that's the name that I'm reading here this one is for the skin for the face, sorry. But they have a body moisturizer, like Nutratopic Pro AMP, which is also really, really good. Not like my main ones, but really good. I also heard that uh, CeraVe has a, or CeraVe, I don't know how you'd say the brand, has really, really good uh, body moisturizers. But here in Portugal, we still don't have like the whole spectrum of products that they have. I heard that they have one specific range for eczema with like uh, red letters, but we don't have that here yet. And to send it from other countries, sometimes it gets really expensive to, to pay, you know, all those things that you have to pay when you need to, like the courier costs and, you know. So I tried other ones from Set of Bay or that brand it didn't work so well to be honest at least with me you know as you might know um, atopic dermatitis skin it's different for everybody you know your skin is your skin and it will react well to some products and it won't react so well to other products um, I find that everyone has their specific thing on the skin even if you have eczema it's still like my exam will be a little bit different from yours, you know. Just to give you an example, everybody talks about coconut oil, that it's fantastic. But for me, it doesn't work so well. It makes my skin a little bit itchy. Just an example. But just a tip. I find out that if you heat a little bit the coconut oil, it doesn't make it so itchy, at least on my skin. Now, on face cleansers, you know, usually I use, I use like thermal waters, you know, I think that's the term. There's one amazing from Uriage, I don't have it today, but if I can, I'll put a, an image here, if I find out how to put images here and show you. But what I'm using right now is also Uriage, and it's like also thermal water, but it's just a different type. And it's this one, you know, for sensitive skin. I find it works really well and it doesn't, make it doesn't react to my skin and it just really cleans it very well and it can also help remove makeup and it's really really good for me. Another one that I have is you know because of that we had to use masks and things like that I noticed that I was getting more like redness in my face and kind of like similar to rosacea so I found this one and it really, really helps and it really like calms your face when it's like in that redness stage and it's the Cleansing Micellar Gel Anti-Redness. It's also from Aderma. Really good. Okay. So now since we are on the face, let's talk about other face moisturizers. So this one is really good, you know. Uriage is the brand. <laughs> is Uriage Chemos, you know, face cream for really dry skins and prone to atopy. I'm not sure you can see it very well, but this one is really, really good. Like after cleansing my skin, I usually use this one. It's really nice. Also, this one has helped me with, you know, 
the redness because I had that face that I was like, you know, masks and stuff getting really, really red. And it's from Isdin. I also find that Isdin products are really, really good, you know. So this one kind of helps to reduce the, um, the redness and also helps with atopic skin. It's really nice. And let me see if I have, yeah. Because of the redness, I still have here other products to show you. Sorry if I'm going too fast. But again, Uriage, you know, <laughs> they have this anti-redness rich cream which sometimes I use. I'm not sure this is focusing very well, but can you see it? Well, you can see more or less the looks and it says Roselian. I think that's how you name it. Roselian. It's really nice. Okay. And I have used, you know, for just some several spots that I was getting here. You know for really red red skin i was using someone is at the door so if you hear some noises i apologize relief concentrate for chronic redness aven aven products are also really nice they have like also cleansers for your face that are really good but in terms of like um uh, cream for face and body, I find that it's not as moisturizing as the other ones that I've shown you. For me, you know, this is for me. Okay, now, uh, also for the face, before I forget, I don't use this much, to be honest, I don't use much makeup and I don't use much like concealers and stuff because I find it, it makes my skin very irritated. But whenever we are having those bad days, you know, that you don't even want to leave the house. I use this BB cream from La Roche Posay, which is, you know, for sensitive skin. Yeah, it helps at least to have that little hiding things. And it's still like good for your skin that you have for sensitive skin and you don't use like a really cheap brand. Yeah. I think with eczema and atopic dermatitis, we really need to be careful with the products that we use and buy. Sometimes if you can, I know not all, all people can, but if you can, it's better to like spend a little bit more, more money and have really good products because your skin will really appreciate it and you'll see the difference. Okay, now for a little bit more like niche products. Uh, sun protection. I have this one from Isdin. This is for the face that I use. It's really good and it doesn't make my skin irritated. Let me see. Doesn't say much, but it says specific formula for intolerant skin, you know, for your chemical filters. Uh, fusion fluid mineral, it's with 50. I try to use 50 always on my face, you know. I think there's also one from them that's like 100th factor if you feel, if you're into that kind of thing. For my body, I have used this, I don't know why, but I think since I'm little, my parents bought me this because of my skin, so I still use it, which is a Ven, you know. I should use 50, but you know, this is 30 because it's for the body, and the few days before I tried to use 50. And is um, water resistance for sensitive skin, and I, my skin always worked well with this one, so this is for the use for protection of my body. Sorry if you hear a lot of noises from people who arrived home today, you know, family gatherings. Now, on to like a little bit more weird stuff. This is the saber. Alibut, which is with ointment, let me try to read this, ointment for skin repair when there is irritation, rash or redness in an, okay, this is for kids, you know, when kids have that thing on their butts, but the thing is, it really, really helps to like clear the redness and when you have those like, uh, you know, those bad things and cuts, because it has... Uh, zinc oxide 
it really really helps with those things like sometimes when I'm feeling when my whole hand is like uh, you know even worse than this with little cuts I put it before sleeping even with like a cotton glove or something and a moisturizer I use this and moisturizer and it really really works wonders zinc oxide is like the savior for me <laughs> to be honest and I know this is like used for like uh, you know things on baby's buds but like this one it's another variation mustela uh, vitamin barrier cream you know uh, they work well this one is better though this one is really really good and um, it really repairs the skin as it says it really helps repair the skin really good you know sometimes what I find is that baby moisturizer and creams because uh, the skin of the baby is so sensitive it kind of works well with us as well on some products okay and since we are on the zinc oxide I hope I'm not saying this in the wrong way I found this thing because let me tell you one thing for me it's important to test different things sometimes I go online and I have these Facebook groups and uh, I research and all that and I whenever I can I'll try different products just to see like does my skin react well does it not react well is it good is it not and I found this because I read somewhere that people use this and uh, it's like a tape with zinc oxide or some 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 oxide of any type and it says like this sorry I'm just a mess right now Vado Last Plus. I'm trying to find English, but I can't. Where's the English? It's zinc oxide, like, uh, no, I don't know how to say the word. Bandage, exactly. Zinc based bandage. Oh my God, let me tell you something. This has been a re revolutionary thing for me. It's kind of like, it looks dirty. It looks like, you know, a tape. And you, like for instance, you have really, really ra like rash and like a lot of cuts on one area, like your hand for instance. You wrap it around your hand. I know this will sound weird, but it works for me. That's why I'm trying to tell you that if you want, you can try. Wrap it around your hand. Then I put a towel, you know, and I try to make sure it's like kind of stuck. You know, it doesn't fall stuck. I'll sleep with it or I'll spend like a few hours with it and usually sleep because like it's so long that it really works to infuse the things on your skin and the next morning it's so much better I'm telling you at least with me it's so much better I didn't know this was so good until I tried it I was like wow and I just found this like last year like during the pandemic because um, I was having a lot of rashes, like it was a really, really tough year. I don't know. Sometimes it happens. But for me, it worked wonders. And I think there's a lot of brands, like I use this brand because it's the one I bought, but there is like a lot of zinc bandage and things like that online. Now, for hands, I don't really have specifics for hands. Sometimes I use like uh, something to try to relieve itch because I'm really itching my hands. You know, you touch everything and it has like uh, um, dust or like skin of animals or like, you know, everything that makes you like break out. And I try to use things that help to release the, the itchiness, even though for me it's really hard, you know. Even though these things say like releases, releases, relieves itchiness I find it that they don't really relieve itchiness like that much if you know a product that really helps with itchiness please 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 let me know okay I would really really appreciate it but I use things with ureia I think that's the name and like oats this one's like oats thing and it says clinic clinic oh, I don't know how to read today Clinically proven to intensively moisturize very dry, atonic-prone skin. You know? 
prebiotic triple oat complex and sediments. Yeah, things with sediments also are good, you know. I also have one for hands from this brand, but it says like for hands, Davaya. It's really, really good. Also with oats, like oats is the main thing from what I read. Really nice. Now, we almost cover everything, I think. Now, for feet, because we know how lovely it is to have cracked feet, right? No. <laughs> Not that much of a big deal. Vaseline. You know, I love Vaseline. I use Vaseline like almost every part of my body whenever I feel like it needs more moisture. Uh, but for feet is really, really, really nice. And I also use it when, you know when you have like, kind of like the snake and you have like shed of the skin, like the old one starts peeling off and the new one starts coming in. I don't know if all of you go through this stage, but I have like a stage like that. And you have like this rest, like these little pieces of skin that just stay there and it's like, it's weird. Vaseline, I don't know if it's because of petroleum or something, it really helps to like remove that skin and still keep it like healthy underneath, you know? So really like simple Vaseline. No, no need for a specific brand, I think. And also Portuguese brand that I love, 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 love. I'm not sure you can find it online, but it's like Barral Creme Gordo for uh, skin, oh, for feet and also for hands. It's like so, so, so moisturizing. I can even try to show you the, it's like so thick. Not sure you can see it, but it's really, really, really thick and so good. Um, it says like for really, really dry skins. It's really good. If you, you, can, if you can find it, I really, really recommend this one. It helps to moisturize a lot. Okay, now for corticoids, that's how you say, cortisone. Sometimes we need it, right? Wait, I just found that I forgot something. I forgot a product, but I'll, I'll, I'll pause this and I'll go grab it. Cortisone or corticoids for my hands because you cannot use what you use in your hands in your face. Your hands have much like thick skin and your face is very sensitive. You shouldn't use, from what I heard, like pure corticoids or cortisone. Sorry for the noise. On your skin. But for my hands, or like, you know, the flex, because usually the flex places get like not so good. I use this Dermovat ointment. Dermovat ointment. I don't think I have here the English way to explain to you, but it's like, uh, yeah, I cannot translate this, but if you, if you research Dermovat ointment, not the cream, but the ointment, it will be the one. Okay. Now for the skin, I don't have it here, but what I use is Protopic. Okay, uh, I'll go grab it. One moment. So finally back, you know, I couldn't find it. <laughs> this is the one I use for my face when it's like really, really bad. It's called Protopic. I heard many people use it and it's really good. It's kind of a little bit expensive, but it really, really works well on your face because you need to have a different product for your face when it's like, getting all breaking out. So now just a little tips on other products. You know, I used to use, I like to use oils sometimes on my, my body just to make it look like a little bit more moisturized and a little bit enrich the whole experience. And I use sweet almond oil, which I don't have here, but it's really cheap. You can buy it anywhere, supermarket, pharmacy, anywhere you want. As I told you, for me, coconut oil doesn't work very well. What I find it works well as well is like baby products, you know? This one, Johnson's Aloe Vera for delicate skin. 
really works well on my skin, believe it or not. I use it like on my legs and like uh, stomach and you know, the body, not on my face, but like the rest of the body. It works well, doesn't get irritated and it's really, 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 really nice to give that extra creaminess and looking good. And now for my lips, you know, I have tried like maybe 10, 15 brands for my lips. They're always like, they need every day to be moisturized every single day. The one that works wonders is Neutrogena uh, Norwegian, I don't know how you say this, formula. This baby here. Sorry. A little noise here. Uh, this is amazing. This is the one that I never break out on my lips. This is the beauty, you know? Amazing, amazing, amazing. There is like similar to this from the same brand, but it's not the same thing. This is top notch. Creme de la creme. And if I want a little skin, uh, a little skin, no, a little like shade on my lips, I try to use things that won't irritate them so much, like Vaseline, little uh, pinky, you know, because it's Vaseline and it's like good. And I also find this that it doesn't work so bad, Labello Red. Not sure it's focusing, but it has in the middle like. Uh, moisturizer thing so usually try to use moisturizer and then like color for your lips otherwise in in my case it will get like really super dry you know and then it starts breaking out so all in all I think I showed you most of the products that I use for my eczema um, you know I'm still trying still investigating you know there's always new things coming out in the market that help uh, there's other brands like Vipanthen and uh, CeraVe like I told you uh, they're launching new products and new brands that can help every eczema I say eczema because it's easier than saying atopic dermatitis it's like faster to say um, it's different for everybody, as you know, and um, just try it out and see if it works for you. Um, other minor tips might be like, try to use cotton um, gloves, even though I don't use all cotton gloves, but itchy clothes I try not to use because it will not bring a good result. <laughs> um, try to, whenever, whenever I'm very, very, very itchy, what I try to do, I know it sounds kind of crazy. It's like, you know those people who go to, who have to put like their hands like this because they're like going to, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, crazy people uh, facility. So just to give you an example, like whenever my hands are so itchy, I'll wrap a towel and put like a little knot, not like too hard of a grip, but like a little grip. And I'll try to use it like this because if it has some pressure, I feel like when it has some pressure, it won't be as itchy as it is. And if it's not like available to be like always scratching, it will pass a little bit more like the itchiness um, feeling. Also, maybe like a van. That's how you say van, like with the wind and uh, cool hair also helps to ease down because it gets so hot when you're like scratching and it's like red and what else you know stress doesn't help eating good food try to have a good gut health because it's totally related as well and yeah just see what works for you um i hope i know it's a heart disease that not many people really understand the scope of it because they they think like oh it's just itchiness and redness and stuff like that but it can really like take a toll on you on your daily life and um, my best wishes go to you out there and uh, hopefully we can get better at this and with this disease i hope you have a lovely day I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry for my 
random and out of place comments sometimes, but it's just the first time I'm doing this and I, I hope I have helped you some way. Bye!